Hello, 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 guys. This video is especially for you. I'm gonna show you how to make a quick, easy meal. And I'm gonna show you how to satisfy and to make the princess so happy tonight when she came home. And also the kids that are coming from school. I'm gonna show you how to make a great meal. Every day. Hey, you go back in time. Children come home, two o'clock, three o'clock from school. That is on a day off. Hey, dad, what's for dinner? Uh, dinner's not ready yet. Mommy's not home as yet. We're gonna stop that right now. I'm gonna show you guys how to make beautiful, beautiful, nutritious meal for your children and for your princess. So when she came home, she won't have to be thinking about going into that kitchen to cook. Surprise! My man has cooked! My husband has cooked! My children have eaten! Healthy! It's gonna make them grow happy! Watch me showing you how to make some just plain white rice and some steamed cabbage and corned beef! But okay, corned beef, I'll be taking it from a can. Oh, that's processed food! Yes, we know it's processed food! But you gotta remember now that cabbage is alkaline. So is the body, 70% water. So I'm gonna give you a alkaline diet. If it's not 100% alkaline, it's gonna be close. Because I will be using one pound of fresh cabbage to make this cabbage and corned beef. I will be using in my rice some yellow squash. Yellow squash is alkaline. So I'm not only cooking you rice and you're gonna digest a lot of rice and thinking that okay, you know, I'm eating you know too much starch. I'm gonna balance this diet out for you because your body do need starch also. You don't wanna digest too much of it. And if you're taking in starch, take it in, take in, take the starch that is very very good for you. Rice, we've been eating for centuries of years. But I'm gonna show you today how to mix butternut squash with rice and make yourself a gorgeous butternut squash rice. And you're gonna accompany that with some lovely corned beef and cabbage. Okay, let's peel this butternut squash. water already boiling we're gonna add a half a pound of butternut squash to this water and we're gonna let it boil for a little bit then we're gonna add our rice to this water I'll be adding sea salt sea salt half a teaspoon of sea salt some black pepper just a little bit not a lot put that there cover and let this cook now for about five minutes I have five ounces of rice that I already washed I like to wash my rice so that I take what most of the starch out of it before I cook it I have that right now I'm gonna stir this for a little bit. I'm gonna cover and I'm gonna let it cook. Or I'm gonna let it steam! But first, I'm gonna turn the fire down to very, very low because you don't wanna burn that rice. You want your children and your princess that is coming home tonight, that is gonna be coming home to a beautiful dinner. You want her to have something so beautiful has like what she always prepared for you when you are at work. Come on guys, it's time for us to cook for them now. Let them see that we can cook too. Don't, you, you don't want to hear this thing, if I don't cook you don't eat. You don't want to hear that anymore. Cook it like Chef Shrimpy, you're gonna get something pretty tonight. Maybe something beautiful, don't you say? Cook 
Look at some rice and yellow squash, rice and butternut, rice and butternut, nut nut, rice and butternut is good. Guys gonna cook it up tonight, let the princess hug it when she come home. Children coming home from school, let them get some nice, hot, warm, nutritious food for the soul. Let them go to school tomorrow, have the brain ready to learn. Ooh, 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 ooh. So we're going to turn this down onto real low and we're going to let this steam for about 17 minutes and we're going to have some lovely butternut squash rice. Okay, so now let's start our cabbage, cabbage and corned beef. This dish is going to take about 12 to 20 minutes. So I'm not going to keep you too long in the kitchen, bro. I'm not going to keep you too long in the kitchen and don't worry, it's going to turn out great. Don't have any fear when you're going there to cook, man. I'm just going to make some beautiful food for my princess who keep me happy. Yeah. So let's cut this cabbage. This cabbage, we're going to tread it as fine as we can. Hometown baby, come on guys, I want you to make food for you women when you're at home on your day off man, let them feel happy, let them feel proud of themselves, I carry you baby, maybe you cook for me, yeah, maybe you're gonna get a little something, 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 something later on, I don't know, I'm just saying, it doesn't hurt, it helps. That is cut. I'm gonna put this thing in steam. Crank that fire hand. I'm gonna add about half an ounce of water because you know, in the process of cooking, you put that cabbage in that pot with no water, you turn the fire on, it's gonna burn it. So I'm gonna add about a half an ounce of water so we can have our steaming going the way it was prescribed. Cooking! Now we have the cabbage cooking. Let's prepare our condiments that is gonna accompany this cabbage. What is condiments? These are the herbs and spices that you put in whatever you're cooking to give it the taste and flavor that you're looking for. So now let me show you what we have going on right here. I'm gonna use one old green pepper, alkaline. I'm gonna use one old onion, alkaline. And I'm gonna use seven ounces of tomatoes very very good for you and your health so i'm gonna be cutting these things i already washed them and i'll be cutting them and i'll be adding it to this cabbage accordingly let's cook some food and sensing
Cabbage, let's cook it up. You want to stir it a little bit, make sure it's not burning. Obviously, it's not gonna be burning because I already had that half ounce of water, so that's gonna give it some nice for, for it in itself to start steaming. All right, let's do that. Now, let's cut all of our herbs, our condiments. I'm gonna add these to that beautiful cabbage. We're gonna julienne these. We're gonna cut these tomatoes into small pieces. Right here I'm using some small plummy tomatoes. You can even put them in there old if you want. But I'm cutting them in about three to four pieces. By the time you finish making this, they all gonna dissolve. Most of them is gonna dissolve within the dish that you're making. Put that over there, cover it, stir it a little bit. Cabbage is rather delicate when you're cooking it. So you gotta make sure you have enough maestra in it so it doesn't burn. The result of making cabbage and eating it if you make it the right way is one of the most beautiful dishes you can ever have. And not only the beauty in the dish, but it's also one of the highest vegetables you can have on hurt in pH. It's very good for your system. Very, 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 very good. Eat it every day if you want to. Try it. I'm just saying. Cooking some cabbage and rice, cabbage and rice and yellow squash. Cooking up, guys, 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 guys. Making some food for the princess. She's coming home soon. She's hungry. Work all day. She's coming home. No phone call for food to deliver. Baby, you make me some food. I'm on a. Maybe, maybe just maybe I'm gonna give you something so sweet. Green peppers, we're gonna julienne them. Again, that is French for cutting peppers like this. Julienne. And we're gonna pop that in there. Start this up so we have our cabbage steaming. We already had the onion, we had the tomatoes, we had some beautiful green peppers. Right here, we're talking about their health nutrition compact, and that is exactly what you want. Our body, hey man, this is supposed to serve us, man, for 2,000 years, man, 100 years, or however you, how long you want to go, man. Treat it good. If you treat it good, it will respond in fine style. Rice is steaming. One of the secrets about rice that I want to tell you, and Alex seems to taught me this again when I was doing food service and management in the Jamaica Heart Academy. Never open your rice too often when you're cooking it. Put you the appropriate amount of water, put that in the pot, add your rice, store it a little bit in the beginning and just cover it and leave it to steam. Leaving it to steam means trust what you're doing. 17 minutes, your rice is ready. Right, our cabbage is getting there. Somebody's gonna be happy tonight, and I know who it is. It's me! No, it's 
her. One clove of garlic. Alcid. Very, very good for human body. Control the blood pressure. Eat a clove of garlic if you can each day. I do it. Do it if you, if you want to. Very, very good for your immune system. Very good for the blood. Very good for the heart. The heart like it. So we're gonna pin this clove of garlic. And we're gonna crush this garlic. Garlic prefer for you to crush it before you start cutting it. So you gotta just hold your knife, put it on top, press, and then cut. Cutting my garlic, cutting it fine, fine, fine. Cut it fine, fine, fine. Cabbage is steaming. Add your garlic. Stir as you go. If you want to keep whatever you're cooking, you gotta keep it consistent. You don't want one part to be cooked and the other part hasn't cooked. What's gonna happen is when you're ready to heat, man, you're gonna realize that. Half of the stuff that you're cooking is cooked and the other half is not cooked. What sense in it in cooking and when you're eating you don't enjoy it? Cook it like Chef Shrimpy, I'm gonna show you how to enjoy your food. And these are beautiful meals, these are healthy meal men. These meals are gonna these meals are gonna keep you strong, healthy, sexy, and happy. Okay, stir that cover that. Car leaf. This is what I'm gonna be putting in it. And uh, what's on this can? This is 12 ounces. I'm only gonna be using 6 ounces. So it has a little key on the side here. You take the key off, turn it around, pop it back on, twist it clockwise. I'm hoping this. Open it, keep turning it clockwise. Clockwise, 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 until you meet where you begins. Now, sometimes it can be a little bit tricky to get it yeah, on top off. You see that? Use your knife and just poke it off. And this is what I'm gonna do. Watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take half of it and I'm gonna pop it right there in that cabbage. Just like that. And then I'm gonna stir it because when you take the corned beef from the can, it came out in lumps like these. So you want to crush it in what you're cooking to make sure that you get exactly what you're looking for. So here I'm gonna crush this. I'm gonna stir. Stir that in for about a minute. You wanna stir it in for about a minute and you wanna crush the corn beef as you stir. Because you wanna blend in the corn beef with the cabbage and all the lovely vegetables that you have in this pot to feed yourself and that of your family. So I'm gonna be adding crushed beautiful black pepper. If you don't have a black pepper crusher, I would say add like maybe one eighth ounce of black pepper to this. Black pepper doesn't hurt the body, it's very good. Then we're gonna add some sea salt. And you're gonna add about a quarter ounce of sea salt. And you're gonna stir that in. To that, I like when I'm cooking and when I'm heating, all of us eat for 
nutrition, for flavor, and for taste. I love when I'm eating, I feel what I'm eating, the flavor. So I'm gonna add a half an ounce of margarine. And this is for what is referred in the world of cooking as consistency, how you bring your meal together. Whatever is gonna create your consistency, you usually add it close to the end of your cooking, which tells you that this beautiful cabbage and corn beef is about to be ready. excited part to taste that is it right there very very good and this is our rice and butternut squash Papa cook food for you tonight. Papa can cook too. Papa can cook too. Papa cook food for you tonight. Okay, I'm gonna dish a little bit of this and we're gonna have some food now. So I'm making a meal right here. And this meal is for the beautiful princess. Remember, she's coming home pretty soon. She's the most important thing also, man. She bear our children. Take care of us, man. Nice woman. Beautiful. We gotta take care of them. So, this is the rice. This is about four to five ounces, man. You don't wanna eat too much, you know, at once. A little bit at a time, you'll be better off. So that's your cabbage and corned beef right there. This is my serving portion. But I'm not done. Make her real happy. You really want to make her real happy? I'm going to show you what is necessary. Watch the shrimpy. You can do it too. Watch the shrimp. You can do it too. You can do it too. You can do it too. And not only for the princess, but do it for the children too. Because as they grow up, they need love. The children live what they learn. Papa show love to their mama, they will show love to their partner when they grow older. This is how you present it to the princess. Here you go, baby. I make you food today. Cabbage and corned beef accompanied by butternut squash and rice. Very, very beautiful. Eat some food and let's go have fun. Enjoy.